Hey guys, it's Sedic here, back in the video, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make an NPC give rewards, respawn, and have a mob GUI. So let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do, obviously, is to go to plugins. If you don't have one already, you can go get it. Rig, uh, rig Builder, that's the plugin I'm using. Block Rig, which will basically spawn this. So from here, what you want to do is add, go to its head. And you want to add in a mob GUI. So you want to go to the head and add a build board GUI. Then you can rename it to mob GUI. And let's just do this first, even though it won't make much sense right now, but let's just do that. Oh, so what you want to do first is add a uh, build board GUI, then you want to add in a frame. But before we do that, you want to go to the size and set it to 501.20. And then once you get to the frame, you want to go add a, let's see, 1010 to the size. And then you want to do... Zero, zero, zero. That should already set. Then you want to go next to add another frame underneath it. Then add another frame. We're going to call this one uh, Health GUI. We're going to call this one Mob Info. And underneath Health GUI, we're going to add in a script. And we're going to call this one health manager and inside the health manager script you want to type human local humanoid equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent find first child and then humanoid I had to move something off my screen and we go underneath it while true do wait 0.1 script dot parent dot health num dot text equals math dot floor humanoid dot health and then after that you want to add dot dot And add spaces in between that. Add more dots. Math.floor. Humanoid. And then we're going to do um, dot max health. All right. So after this, we uh, go down local pi equals humanoid dot health divided by humanoid dot not divided by um separated, I believe. Yeah. Script dot parent dot health bar dot size equals udem2 dot new pi comma zero comma one comma zero all right that's it for the health script the health gui script next one we're going to do is mob info which i'm just going to copy and paste from the other game i have just to make it simpler and then i have to make sure i have the gui for uh the size and position I have to change the position of this, the health GUI. So position, change that. And size, change that. Uh, everything else uh, could be customized. It just doesn't matter right now. And then mom info, I have to do that too.
position zero zero size is different. So change the size. There we go. So mom name, you want to add a text label and call it mom name. Then you want to go into the text. This make a script actually. And then you want to go inside the script. Local name equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot name. Script dot parent dot text equals name. So that's pretty much it for this mob GUI. Also, the model will be linked down in the description below if you guys want that instead, because that'd be a lot easier. So we're going to go on into the humanoid. We need to add a script to that. And we're going to call this, uh, just, you know what, just leave it as it is. It doesn't really matter what it is. So in this script, you want to do uh, script.parent.maxhealth equals script.parent.parent.data. Or in this case, um, stats. Dot Max health dot value. Then script dot parent dot health equals script dot parent dot parent dot stats dot health dot value. So what this basically is, stats is what you call your leader stats. So in my previous videos, I already have all this made. And health and max health. Max health is the maximum amount of health you can have. Health you can have. And health is how much health they currently have. So you can set it to 50, and the max health can be 100, then they'll slowly regenerate up to 100. And then what we're going to do for the reward is we're going to add a script. And this one's going to be called reward. And you can do a lot of things for the reward, but we're just going to go. Um, do something simple, which would be local humanoid equals script dot parent dot no, parent dot humanoid, and then we'll have function dead and local tag equals humanoid find first child creator, and I did that twice on accident. There we go, and then underneath that we do if tag squiggly thing next to one, you hold shift down to use it, equals nil, then if tag dot value, squiggly thing again, nil, then local stats equals oh, tag dot value, find first child. find first child stats and then we have if stats squiggly thing nil then no it's a tilde but keep on calling it squiggly you know it doesn't matter i'm just gonna do this cash dot value equals stats oh, dot cash dot value plus uh, five then we have stats dot level you know exp dot value equals stats dot exp dot value plus 100 so give us 100 experience we're going to actually do 50 not 25 just because we don't want to give too much and then after that we want to do weight 0 0.1 seconds and script remove there we go that's pretty much the reward script actually besides the fact I forgot almost forgot to add humanoid dot died connect dead there we go that's pretty much everything for this and now we're gonna get on into the respawn script so the respawn script you want to add another script to dummy Title it respawn. And then you want to do dummy equals script dot parent clone enemy equals script dot parent wait for child humanoid. Underneath that, 
you want hum humanoid, which is you could just call it hum equals script.parent. And then you could do wait five, no wait. Enemy dot guide connect function and then wait five seconds. That's the spree spawn time is five seconds. Clone dot parent equals script dot parent dot parent. And underneath that you want script dot parent destroy. There we go. That will make it respawn and also other stuff and that looks um, terrible but whatever and also I can't really see the um, color so give me a second it's really I mean mob name and, and uh, well, stuff so the text needs to be changed text color to black why not name that changes the name then health health manager Okay, the level does not show on this one because I didn't do that, but actually, uh, yeah, before actually we do that, i to double check something. All right, yeah. So if you guys want to make it show levels, you want to add in a new folder to here, and you want to call it um, data or stats, one of the two. And then you basically just add in Actually, no, I'm going to call it stats because I already have it that way. Then we're going to set a value. Then we're going to add an int value. We're going to call it levels. Underneath levels, we're going to have the value at nothing. Or we can have it to one. This NPC is going to be level one. And yeah, that should be pretty much it. Let's see if it works. Oh wait, I forgot to add the leader stat. Oops. So you want to actually update your leader stat before you do that, all that, because it needs to be in the leader stats. And you need a new script for server script service, actually. Script. You don't really need one, but I'm going to do max health. And then we're going to do local max health equals instance.new int value max health dot name equals max health and then max health dot parent equals leader stats and we just do this copy and paste it then we do the same thing and just remove max there we go and then we want to go into max health uh, script so in the max health script you want to do game dot players dot player added connect function player Player dot character added connect function character and then you want local stats equals player dot stats local max health equals stats now it's equal no equal stats wait for child max health I can't type today there we go now we want to do character dot humanoid dot max health equals max health dot value plus 100 then character dot humanoid dot health equals health dot value oh wait I'm doing that wrong equals character dot 
humanoid dot max health plus 100. Let's see if it works now. That is so scuffed. It's not even how it works. All right. I'll just actually upload the model inside the thing because uh, I don't have the bar and everything, which would take a lot more effort to do. But as you can see, I'm getting the EXP and the cash. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And I will post the model in the description. See you guys in the next one. Peace.